today we're going to be running finally a different team than Tailwind Spam. Now it's actually Trick Room Spam, but the most, probably the most um, strongest or uh, more like potent Trick Room setup with Ndidi Armor Rouge with the Psychic Surge and uh, expanding force spam it's a it's, it's, and both of them having trick room you can do a lot of tricky things with this um you know you, no one needs an introduction to ndd armor rouge follow me trick room um you can also do wide guard trick room if you're opting for the glade route because glade's in this team and we'll get on to him in a second uh, but after trick room's done you can use helping hands expanding force pretty pretty strong or you can use um, helping hands with sharpness boost Gallade. Gallade with sharpness is absolutely insane. This one is opting for clear amulet instead of another boosting attack. You just don't want to get him dropped because when he gets dropped you don't want to switch him out during your trick room turns to do some fin finicky things. He can slap pretty hard with his sacred sword, side cut with, sh si si psycho cut with sharpness and terrain boost which is absolutely insane and he also has options to trick room this allows you to attack through the special and the physical side of things and in the back we'll have Torkoal to kind of like end the game off with his because he's one of the slowest uh, pokemon out there using eruption and helping hand oh he's got helping hands which is a little bit weird so it's more of a supportive set in some scenarios where um, you might have Torkoal and Fluttermane at the end game where he needs to, <laughs> for him to do anything, he might need to just helping hands the Fluttermane to uh, be able to uh, pick up a kill. There's also the option of Ursa Luna at the back, which kind of covers all of uh, our team's weaknesses with Hyper Voice, really strong Blood the Moon, uh, Earth Power, and Protect. Also, something to note, uh, and then we also have Fluttermane, so uh, he, she can be a mode by herself. I'm sure. Um, we can do some funky things with Fluttermane Gallade where we can um, all like Fluttermane plus a Trick Room user because we can just do loads of damage with Fluttermane and set up Trick Room because everyone's forced to hit into Fluttermane. Um, afterwards we care to note that this Armor Rouge also has Scorching Sands which is pretty good coverage um, for our team as well and Scorching Sands is like yeah, it's not very seen often, nor is Gallade, but this team looks really, really good. Let's give it a... Whoa, 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 whoa. A rack winded Trick Ruma team. Kind of scared. Yeah, I'm kind of scared actually. What ty what terror typing is this? This guy's probably psychic type. Fire, fire, fire. The Gallade does seem pretty strong here. I'm not going to lie, but I'm scared that it won't outspeed some certain things. I don't think he's the slowest clog. He's quite fast, I think. Oh, but he's got lowering. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's set up terrain and see what s go from there. Really, with the Galay. Galay seems pretty strong. Um, do I want to Torkoal though? The Torkoal is not that good. I just I just don't have a thing that will kill this uh, Araquanid. I think there's a Araquanid. It's got like some super defense as well, like. Like, um, if I remember correctly, he's got like a base, a 120. Water, water, water bubble. Yeah, 132 special defense. Pretty mighty strong. So yeah, fake out's not gonna work here. And you know what? I might not even just turn. I might turn not turn on Trick Room. Uh, potential Wide Guard coming out. Did not think about that one actually. Potential Wide Guard coming out. Um, I might just 
I might just armor cannon this guy, like helping hand armor cannon this guy. Um, just potential wide guard coming through. Turn one and trick room. Oh, there's the white guard. We could have led with uh, Glade here. The Glade would have destroyed this matchup. <laughs> Damn. Is he gonna trick room for us though? He does, it's pretty good. He it does. It's pretty good. <laughs> So, Raging Bolt comes out here. I'm pretty pretty okay with this situation, right? This, okay, I just need to read what this Scorching Sand does. Yeah, it just burns someone. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Expanding Force. I think it's pretty decent here, like Helping Hands Expanding Force. It's pretty decent. We're just gonna try and do as much damage as possible with our Armor Rouge before, uh, well, during his Trick Room. Hyper Voice comes through. That does quite a bit of damage with the throat spray as well. So the next one's gonna do even more damage. Uh, but let's see how much expanding force damage this does. About a little over 50% and snarl hit. Culpaberry procs. And um, we're now in a funky position. The long necks got snarl. I'm gonna bring out this guy. This guy seems a lot better. Uh, I'm gonna go for the normal terror here. I think it's pretty decent. Uh, normal terror hyper voice, of course. And he, last time he went for hyper voice plus snarl. So there's really not much point to follow me. Is there a chance that Dazzling Gleam is good? I don't think so. Let's just kill them. So yeah, let's just kill them. I mean, uh, this Terra might be unnecessary, but in the off chance that Helping Hands Hyper Voice does not kill, this will definitely ensure the death of these guys. We also need to see if they're faster or not. This guy is typically slow, and he is nice. Damn, I just wa wanted to think. If I led like Glade, it would have been so insane. Like, I could have Psycho Cut, Helping Hand Psycho Cut, Turn 1, Sharpness Boost, like he did. And then we kill the Giraffe afterwards. <laughs> that would have been sick. Okay, what next, guys? Araquanid's coming out. I'm just gonna Blood the Moon it. Because, yeah, we're, we're, we're blood wounding it, boys. Okay, water terror, little small hat. I don't think this guy's got that much damage, but we'll see. Can can, can the Arachnid survive the Blood Moon? Let's go. Bzzz, it does not. <laughs> 134 base defense does not survive the Life or Blood Moon Terror Helping Hands Giga Power. We squash them bugs. I think we just played the. I just think we played pretty stellarly, actually. <laughs> like, we just played the super nicely, super clean, reading him pretty well. Okay, so this is a Tailwind team. Yeah, let's just open up with. 
um, in the plus one. Uh, I think this case could the glade could be better if it's a darker Shifu. I think it very much could be a darker Shifu because of um, he's got a water type already, so I don't think he's gonna double up on that. But if not, I'll also bring the Armor Rouge. And then at the back, water type, how do we kill that guy? Um, I think Fluttermane could be a decent answer here, but I think it's I think it's Torkoal. Torkoal crushes Golden Ghoul, and we don't really have anything that crushes Golden Ghoul. Oh, this guy kind of does do it as well. I think this guy's going to be okay as well. Blood Moon into the Ogre Poon. Let's see how this works out. Okay, what do you open up? Tornadus Urshifu and the Urshifu is Dark type. How did I know? Who knows? Let's go with Trick Room. Oh actually we go trick we follow me trick room I think. Actually, yeah, 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 that's how we do it. We have to follow me trick room, otherwise it will taunt us and it will be saddening. He tailwinded. Okay, this makes our lives ten times easier as well. Let's see if this guy survives. Barely survived. I don't know how useful he is surviving though. I think we go for the D Gleam. D-Gleam? I think D-Gleam Fire Terror here. Start Sacred Sorting these guys. Doing a bit of damage. Tornadoes is gonna do his like Break Wing Storm or switch out. Something like that. He probably hasn't switched out because it hasn't occurred yet. It hasn't occurred yet so he's probably not switching. He protects, that's fine. He's probably dead next turn anyway. I did a little bit of damage to the guy. Maybe could have read that a little bit harder. Tornado takes a little bit of damage. Bleak Wing Storm. Still all gay. Uh, now, I kind of want to open with this actually. This guy could be pretty decent here. Hyper Voice and will break Sash, for example. Um, it'll break Sash plus do do a hefty amounts of damage to the Tornadoes here. And I'm still Sacred Sorting to here. Potential Sashes, and I think the Tornadoes might even die to the Hyper Voice. Here, depends how they, it lines up. Might even one shot, one shot the Shifu here. Whatever he does here is just gonna be bad. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. The Shifu does survive, unfortunately. 
Ooh, we tank. We're gonna tank this next attack from uh, on Galade as well because of how special the defense he is. Yeah, we're tanking these shots. This could be like a four hit KO, I think. But he's just biding his time. He's probably gonna send out something and protect. Maybe suck off this guy. Uh, this time round, I'm gonna go with uh, Hyper Voice again just to get rid of Tornadius. And I feel like I wanna Psycho Cut this guy. Kinda wanna Psycho Cut this guy to see how much damage it does. Sharpness boosted, terrain boost. Sharpness, terrain boosted, Psycho Cut. Oh, he's got Protect on Tornadoes as well, okay. Good to know. He did not tear on Ogre Pond, the one that I was most worried for. Psycho Cut, pew pew! Good enough damage killing it off after Hyper Voice. Tailwind pitted off. This time I also, again I want to go Hyper Voice, kill off the Tornadoes. And Sacred Sword? Ooh. I think we go for, for it. Go for the Psychic Cut. I really want to see how much if it will kill or not. I think it will. I mean, sharp stabs the sharpness boost. To Sacred Sword will do a lot, but I think it will do. I think this because it's being boosted will do even more. But we shall see. Oh, that was almost a KO there. And we'll never see how much the normal Sacred Sword will do. That mansion has returned to normal. All we have to do now is just attacks. I will Scorch Exas this guy to see that animation. Von the Clap. We tank that after the after the Draco Meteor drop, which is really nice. And there we go. We crushed again.